Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here and I'm going to be talking about how your irregular cycles can be contributing to your weight gain. This is something that I dive into with women during the 12 week program that I have. So 12 week program, why is it 12 weeks is sometimes one of the first questions I get. Can I just, you know, eat healthier and, and lose weight and get to all the goals I want to get to? And I'm like, no. <laughs> If it was that easy, all these women who are struggling with hormonal issues would be there already. But when we're looking at really making a shift and change in your hormones and your health, it's really, really important that you're addressing these issues for the length of time that you need to. Minimum of 12 weeks is really what it takes for that hormonal shift to happen in the body. Minimum 12 weeks, right? Like that's, is it that long? Yes, it is. It is. Um, and then really working on working with the body, right? How your body naturally functions. So during the 12 week program I have, I, we work on meal plans, grocery lists. We work on getting enough protein, enough nutrient, enough nutrient to fight the stress that you're under the right nutrient for you too, right? Each nutrition program is tweaked and tailored personalized for each person. So you're not ingesting things that are a problem for you. And then we layer in carb cycling and intermittent fasting, which I will be talking about more this week and when to do that according to your cycle. So you get the most benefit from it. Ah, is that amazing? It's amazing. So I cover a lot of this information, um, some really good information in my book, the female fat solution, which is on Amazon. So if you haven't read this, check it out. It's a good, easy read. I specifically designed this to be something that you can go through in like a weekend, you know, really just diving into, you know, how to plan your nutrition for your cycles, all these other things, you know, different phases you go through. I have a whole section on stress. I have a whole section on menopause. I have a whole section on um, nutrition for fertility. All these things are very different for women. So it's a good read there. Now, when we talk about the cycle and how everything's supposed to go, I always do a base <laughs> background check on this. Um, oh, other things also, just before I dive in here, because I get excited. Um, so I will put a link below. If you have questions, if you're struggling with something, click the link, schedule a call with me. I'm more than happy to answer your questions. Anything. What I guarantee I've heard it. Guarantee I've heard it. And we can chat about what are some good next steps for you moving forward. Because this is where women get stuck. You just don't know what the next step should be in terms of from where you're at and all the things that you're trying that aren't working. Um, so I'll put that link below. I also have a podcast, The Female Health Solution. So that is, you know, available and there's a ton more information there. And I also interview um, experts and specialists and things like that. So <clears throat> how can your irregular cycle cause you to gain weight and not lose it? Start with the beginning and start with what your cycle is and supposed to be. Day one is the first day of your period. Day 14 is about when you would ovulate and day 28 is when that ends and then it will all start over again, right? Now, normally this first part here, estrogen is higher. I'm not an artist per se, but this is about what happens, right, for women. Estrogen is higher and then the second half, progesterone is higher. So that is supposed to be, you know, typical and normal. Um, Kelly, you've been, ooh, yes, Kelly, we should have a conversation about that. Mm -hmm. Um, so when you're looking at really working with your body and hormones, everybody's thinking, oh, this is how this goes, right? This is normal, blah, blah, blah. This is great. Well, not necessarily, right? If you have been under a lot of stress, if you have trauma, if you've had, you know, illness, injury, things like that, um, birth control, had kids, you know, this, that, and the other. I, I can't believe how many women I've chatted with that have been through, um, mastectomies, you know, they have, they tested positive for BRCA, you know, or they have the MTHFR, right? If you're wondering about these things, let me know. Um, but it, you know, it's, it's something that a lot of women struggle with and they're thinking that their body's functioning like this, but a lot of women, when you start to track or pay attention to, you realize, oh my gosh, my body's not like this at all. If you are estrogen dominant, what happens instead of having a nice, even flow, you know, a, a, a ebb and flow to your hormones each month, what can happen here is that the estrogen is too high and sometimes lasts too long and doesn't come down far enough so that dwarfs what's happening for progesterone. Even the progesterone doesn't do anything, right? Like that's not even, it's not even like diminished here, right? That just dwarfs the progesterone. So you're not able to have that normal shift in your hormones and your cycle. Now this can create a lot 
of issues with your body. This is going to build up, you know, the lining and everything in your uterus. It can change your period. It can be completely different than when you're under stress, all these other things, this can happen, right? So if you're struggling with this and feeling like I'm getting that weight around my midsection and it's not coming off and, and I don't know what to do, like I'm eating healthy, I'm going to the gym, but it's not budging. Oh, what is it? And your hormones are out of whack or you're like, um, I have PMS for two weeks. That's not normal. <laughs> it's not normal to have PMS for two weeks. You know, there's something going on in your body that needs to be addressed. Um, so these are things that can really prevent you from moving forward. Now, there are benefits to each phase here. There's, there really are. So estrogen is going to increase your metabolism and it's going to burn carbs naturally and all these other things, which I talk about in the book and I take women through in the program. So if you want to hear more about that, I can chat more about that. But um, this is one of the things that a lot of women look at this and they're like, oh, well, if that's higher, isn't that good? Aren't I going to burn more carbs or isn't that going to help my metabolism out more? Not necessarily, right? If it's overpowering, it's not functioning correctly. It's too stressful on the body. And when the female body gets stressed, it has a completely different reaction. Meaning, it's like this switch just gets flipped and all of a sudden it goes into fat storage. Just fat storage. And it stores fat specifically in areas of your body that are meant to be protective, the midsection, right? When women gain weight, it's not like you gain weight everywhere, right? Like you'll be like, um, yeah, everything else like is totally fine. I can get my jeans on over my legs. I can't button them, you know? The, that's the beginning part of it. Women gain and lose weight in different areas of their body in relation to hormone. Mm -hmm. It is totally crazy. So when I take women through my program, I, we talk about different areas to watch to make sure that you're seeing a shift and change, right? You won't just come off in the, in the midsection like that. You have to address the hormone and you have to really work with your system to increase your metabolism overall. It's a whole process. It's a whole process. So, but going through it properly, you can really take advantage of the right things because progesterone is actually designed to get you into a fat burning zone longer and easier. Mm -hmm. which sounds almost counterintuitive, but you, you want to take advantage of that. You really do. So if this is overpowering it, you don't get to go through that other phase. So you're really missing out on this. Um, and, and this is something that can cause a lot more issue. Overall, it, it's very hard on the female system if you're not going through regular cycles. And this is something that's not talked about enough for women. They're just thinking, oh, you have PMS, take a mite all. Mm. What well, doesn't fix the underlying you know, issue? It doesn't work with it at all. So in my book, I talk about how to eat for your cycle, like very you know, specifics on, okay, eat these, for, eat these foods for estrogen, eat these foods for progesterone. Um, this is what I take women through in the, in the program, how to eat for their cycle exactly. I just brought a couple of examples of some things, some different things you can even season your food, right? Like without even diving in too much, because sometimes that can feel overwhelming, but how, where do I start? How do I do any of this, right? Well, dill, this is dill. It's a, right, just a seasoning, right? Put this, I like to put this on potatoes. I don't know if you guys like that. I use ghee or clarified butter, right? On just potatoes, like not, and then I put dill on it. It's super good. I don't know. <laughs> I like it. It's delicious. So I'll do this when I'm in my estrogen phase here, anytime in here. So eating normal foods, right? Real foods, eat foods that my family eats but I will season some of my foods differently during this time to take advantage of the estrogen. So dill is one of them. Great, you're adding in more cooling component to help work with that. Now, to change over when your body should be higher in progesterone, something like cinnamon. And with fall here now, all the cinnamon, everything, pumpkin spice, right? <laughs> You can really lean into that and put cinnamon in some, put cinnamon in your coffee, put it in your oatmeal, right? Um, one of my favorite fall dishes is I just dice up a uh, acorn squash and apple and I sprinkle cinnamon on it, sometimes a little nutmeg, also warming. Bake it, bake it in the oven at 400 for like 30 minutes. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. This is such an easy thing to add so that progesterone balances out. Once the progesterone can balance out, that can help manage 
the estrogen levels so they're not out of control. Does that make sense? Um, ooh, yes, Renee, we should schedule a call. So these are some things that are really, I want to say easy and simple. You're using your foods, but you're matching it to where your body's at and encouraging your body to be in a regular pattern. When it's out of the regular pattern, it's a lot of stress on your system. That's, that's one of the biggest things. I, I'm not going to dive into exactly the, the protocol with the hormones and how that also disrupts your metabolism and, and gets, gets you in fat storage. It just happens. Just know that. What's supposed to happen won't happen and will fat store. But also that entire thing is very stressful on your system. For those of you that have really bad PMS, that have really bad cycle issues, that type of a thing. I chatted with a gal and she was telling me that she, you know, it's at least a week, if not almost two weeks before her period, that she has really bad PMS and it's very hard on her body. And then her cycle lasts for six to seven days. So add that up. Do that math really quick. So she's having an issue this whole time and then this whole time. So guess what? She gets a week, a week out of every month where her body feels normal. That's a problem. And her only solution is either to, you know, be on the pill or IUD or whatever. And she's like, I don't want that. I don't need that. You know, that's not part of what I want. I like having in my body. How can I work with this? And I was like, there's so much that we can do, you know, diving into how you fuel your body and what you're doing every day. Cause that can really make a big difference in moving you from the stuck place that you're at forward. But knowing that like, this isn't something you just need vital for right? Like that's not, that's not really working with the, what's going on underneath. You know what I mean? Um, it's, it's really, really important that you're focusing on, okay, how is my health overall? How is my body handling all of this? Um, someone asked a question. Yeah. So there's cinnamon and this is just one of the things I talk about dill and cinnamon. Like there's so much more that you can add in and uh, like, you'll have these things in your cupboard. You know, there might be a few things that you have to go get at the store that you've not purchased before. Most of it you have in your cupboard. It's just kind of shifting. Oh, these things here, these things here, and I'm working with my body. Love it. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you'll start to feel and notice a difference. Now, the other thing too, which again, I feel like women are so misled on is that you're not going to be seeing, oh, I lost 10 pounds in 30 days, blah, blah, blah results. If that's happening for you, I'm worried for you. That's a red flag. It's a red flag. It's what we learned in grad school. Mm-hmm. Yep. If you're having that kind of drastic change, like uh, uh, that's worrisome unless it's just inflammation, right? You want to really work with the body because anything, even if it's a good weight loss change, right? Anything too rapid is again, stressful for the female body. And what happens when the female body gets stressed, it stores fat really, really well, really, really well. <laughs> so the, again, that's just what happens. Your hormones are out of whack, right? You have a problem for three weeks out of the month and you only have one week where you feel good or normal hmm, problem, right? So then you have to really dive in to those hormones, to everything else. Um, it, it really makes a big difference moving out of the place that you're in. So imagine you're having three weeks of stress, basically really bad stress in your body and system. Now that's on top of all the other stress you have in your life, stress with work, stress with relationships, stress with kids if you've got them stressed with all of it right it so think about that that's just adding to it that's a lot for your body to handle and then it, it has to process all of that too so again that fat storage that's just what it's good at that's what its go-to is so when you're trying to take off this weight oh this extra weight around my midsection oh I just, I just got to get it off. It's like, it's, it's not, it's not going to come off. It's, it's you're like, there was a gal I chatted with too. Oh, like I said, I hear, I hear it all. I hear it all. There was a gal, she was like, okay, well, I've been doing 1200 calories a day and I've been trying to cut down to, you know, a thousand to 1100 and I'm really having a hard time because I get so hungry and I lose so much energy. And I was like, you're working out for two hours a day. You're starving yourself. You need to eat. You need to refuel. And she's like, I'm so terrified I'm going to gain weight. I was like, well, there's a little bit of a reverse process here, but you need a new foundation of health. When your body, when your hormones are, you know, have gone completely off the rails and you need to bring it back, you need to set a new foundation. And like I said, this is very, very different for women to go through than for men. And most of the information that you're going to see and read, and that's going to be out there, articles, all these flashy things. Oh my gosh. It's all made for men. 
so guys can follow this great or a lot of times if women follow something and they're like oh this was really good for me blah 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 great if they don't have hormonal issues it's gonna be different for them right it's so different for women that are really really struggling that have hormonal issues because your body doesn't respond to the same things you have to really reset everything from the beginning get that new foundation and go from there so this is where when you have that new foundation you can layer in different tactics that will work then some of these ta like intermittent fasting I talk about that in the book I've done podcasts on it um, I talk about intermittent fasting um, in other videos so dr. Beth Westy is my YouTube you know you can check out stuff there but you know I talk about when to do intermittent fasting for women right and there's a time for that when it's more beneficial but a lot of women will just jump right into it and say oh I don't feel like this is working oh it's not gonna work for you right away that your body is too stressed out your body's gonna perceive that as another stressor too soon too soon fuel it get it that new foundation of health and then when you layer in the intermittent fasting totally different result because you're gonna feel good so one of the most common things I hear from women when they try intermittent fasting because they're like oh I know this is gonna be good for my health I hear all these benefits it's so wonderful I'm like it really is but if you are a hot mess and you have a lot of hormonal issues and your cycle is not regular and you have bad PMS and you have all these wonky things going on and you jump into intermittent fasting you're gonna feel like a pile of dog poo it's not gonna go well and you're gonna be like this is terrible I don't like it <laughs> it's supposed to be so good for me it is it is it is from a healthy stable strong point which you're not in then right does that make sense this is where I feel like women are in this like hole like there's this you know you're not up on the same level as everybody else you're in this hole and you're trying like everybody's moving forward they're all doing these things and there they go they're just like going right by you and you're like stuck in there and you're like hey okay <laughs> you have to get out of that hole and that that the whole right is the stress that's the hormones that's the everything else so to, to get out of that hole to get on that same playing field with everybody else then you can move forward then it really really happens um, you know sometimes there's supplements I'll recommend you know things like that I don't do that a ton I really focus on whole food for women the nutrition and timing and everything and working with the hormones in the body totally totally different totally different result um, an amazing shift and change that happens so there's women that uh, like their cycles are more regular timing they're way better shorter in duration they're not in so much pain um, a good friend of mine she actually had really terrible every month she'd be on the couch you know two three days she's like I just couldn't I could barely function and after going through this right it doesn't happen overnight but after going through it she's now like it just comes it goes it's not it's not a big deal I, I don't even have to sit down she's like this is life-changing for me so these are really big things that not only are we working on like oh yes it's nice to lose weight and get to that but I talk about getting to that your healthy body your strong body you know what I mean getting to that point where your body is you know it's healthiest point but if you're not if you don't have a healthy baseline a healthy foundation you can't get there there's just this big disconnect and it's hormonally related yet you have to work on this first before you can get that other result right a lot of women are thinking oh, if I lose weight my hormones will be better right if I lose weight first no if your body's healthier and your hormones are functioning better then the weight just kind of comes off <laughs> girl, so funny she's like uh, toward, no, she's towards the end of the program now she's so funny she's like I just didn't even realize what was happening I put on the skirt for work and I was turning and like going this way and my skirt stayed and you know like and I just moved and like I, I managed to buy new clothes and I was like that's that's great she's like yeah I didn't even I didn't even notice it like I didn't even notice it melting off of me that's what happens when your body's healthier stronger and your metabolism is working for you we have hormonal issues your metabolism is fighting you it's fighting you but when your metabolism is working for you and you're working with your hormones in your body it's a whole new ball game and these are also things that you know when I chat with women these are also things that you can keep doing and it's a lifestyle it's not crazy it's not restrictive it's not you know anything that's whew, way out there it's all part of stuff that you can keep doing for as long as you want to keep doing it yeah so that's what I got for you guys tonight I know we you know talked about a few different things if you have questions let me know if you want to put them in the comments 
that's fine. If you want to message me privately, that's fine. Or if you're like, hey, I just, I want to talk through some, thing, some, some things. I, I, I want to, you know, I've been struggling with this. Where's my next step, right? Schedule a call. It, they're free, right? Just more than happy to chat with you and get you moving in the right direction. A lot of times I'll, I'll chat with women and they'll be like, I read your book and I watched these videos and da 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 da. And I'm like, that's so great. Um, and a lot of women, they're like, okay, I learned this and this, but what about this, right? Perfect. You don't have to watch a ton of videos or read the book or anything <laughs> before we talk. Um, but it's, it's great that I know that there's a ton of resources I put out there. Um, but women still struggle. They still struggle. And this is my mission is to really educate and empower women to get enough information so that you can move forward in your health on your own. And you're not stuck. You're not frustrated. You know, you're proactive on it. You know what to do and you know how to handle your body and everything else. So if you found this helpful, I would so love and appreciate you clicking the share button. Share this with other women that you know could use this message. If they're struggling, if you're chatting with somebody and they're like, oh my gosh, this wonky thing is going on. You're like, oh, there's a video that might help you. Yes. Because that's, that's what my mission is. I just want women to learn more about how their bodies work and function and how to work with it and stop fighting it. So that's what I got for you guys tonight. Thank you so much for staying and watching till the end. Um, let me know your questions and I will see you later.